Hello buddy, my name is Ultimate 63 and welcome back to SPOILER ALERT! Anyway, in this episode, we're gonna be World 1. Trust me, this is gonna make no sense unless you've... Oh. Okay, first, uh... Oh, wait, what? Lucky Jack the, the Invader. What? Oh, wait, do I need to... What, do, what am I supposed to do? Oh no, okay, okay, so... I honestly don't know what to do. Trust me, unless you've, unless you've seen the, uh... Yeah, trust me, unless you've seen the previous episode, it's, uh, this isn't gonna make much sense to you. Okay. Don't, don't collect the coins. Okay, okay, just, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? That's my question. Uh, where, where'd the button go? Well, where's the... I don't, I can't figure out what to do. Is, is this just like a waiting game? I don't, I don't know what to do. What do I, what? What am I, what am, wait a minute. Holy crap, I think I had a dream about this game last night. This is, this is so weird. Okay, yeah, I just gotta, gotta hit him like two more times, I think. Okay. This game is is very weird, okay? Lucky Jack the Invader. We've been looking for you. Your chili powers shall fuel us shall fuel our spaceships for generations. Yeah, no mate. I'm gonna get out of here. Whoa. I am very confused. I bet you are too, unless Unless you've seen the, uh... Okay, yep, Time Paradox. Unless you've seen the, uh, the first episode of this. I, I guess, uh... I don't... This is gonna be very confusing to you. Okay. There's some way to do this. I'm just not seeing. There we go. Yeah, remember those things drop down. What is with that snail that's... Is that like the snail in Adventure Time? Whoa, what the... Okay, so do I... Okay, yep. Just avoid hitting that. Okay, okay. Avoid hitting that and avoid hitting the robot. Overall, I gotta say, this is actually a pretty well-designed game, and it's... <laughs> It's just such a funny concept that I'm running around as a chili pepper. Freaking, I don't know. It's, it's funny, I guess. In some sort of weird, twisted, like, it shouldn't be funny, but it kind of is funny kind of way, you know? Yep, stop, acid rain's falling up now. We're gonna go on an adventure. That's, uh, that's some Doctor Who stuff right there, right? Just kidding. I don't know anything about Doctor Who. Because frankly, you got like 60 plus years of TV. And I don't got 60 plus years left on this planet. Probably not. I mean, the average age of death for a human being is, uh, is, is 71. I'm 15. And I stress a lot. And stress makes you very, like, stress ages you quickly. So, if I were to guess, I'm basically a 40-year-old man at this point. And if I keep playing these games, I'm going to get myself killed by the time I'm 20. At least I... I don't know, man. This game is just so bizarre and... I don't know what to do, man. Just 
Get the... There we go. Alright. But yeah, I have done nothing but placed... Oh, we're a shark now. Oh, press Z to catch hammer. Oh, so this is like a hammer suit now. No, but like, uh... Yeah, um, I have done nothing but play stressful games all weekend. I played, uh, Psycho Waluigi, beat the second General Hazel fight, I... I played a couple Super Mario World randomizers, none of which were very fun. Most of them had the Block Snake Castle in them. Nobody likes Block Snake Castle, okay? Uh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot. I have the hammer suit. Alright then. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be like replay oh, wait, what the Oh wait, my fingers weren't on the right buttons. And I gotta step on the mushrooms. Oh, I'm actually doing pretty good at this. Hey, what do you know? If it hadn't been for me being an idiot in the beginning, I uh I would have had a gold. Yeah, I'm probably going to be playing, like, the entire second... Or, crap, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I have the hammer suit. Oh, my God. I have a hammer suit because I'm a hammerhead shark. I just realized that. It took me, like, two minutes, but I realized it. The fact that it took me two minutes to understand a visual pun is, is a bit sad, actually. Okay, gotta, I gotta get on the mushroom. That's what I gotta do. I just gotta figure out what it is that's causing it. I, don't know, I think I just need to play, like, some chill games, you know? Anyone have any ideas for, uh, for some chill games I can play? Like, games that will, like, mellow me out, that'll make me, like, happy? Oh, crap, there are too many things to keep track of. Alright. So I don't have to catch the hammer. I just gotta catch... Or, I do have to catch the hammer. There we go. Okay, yep. yep. There's a problem. There's a problem. I'm probably going to be, like, replaying the entire first half of this game. Or technically the second half of this game. If... I, I don't know, man. This, playing games in reverse is confusing. Okay, yep. I gotta, gotta step on the mushroom somehow. And I gotta avoid the other coin... And I gotta catch my hammer. There we go. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna get all gold on this one. Okay. There we go. Avoid the other coin. There we go. Honestly, this game actually seems pretty enjoyable. Like in like fast or forward I guess is wh what's like the opposite of reverse forward I you no know, I mean I'm pretty sure the opposite of reverse is drive get it because now I'm 15 and my entire family is pressuring me to get my learner's permit the thing is I have nowhere to go like yeah I, I have literally nowhere to go like the, the closest, like, the closest thing to a place I'd ever have to go is 7-Eleven, and that's like, what, a mile away, I can walk, and I could definitely use the exercise. So, why do I need a car? Okay, yep. So. No, but yeah, like, why do I need a car, though? I don't know. Like, I feel like my entire family is just a bunch of hypocrites because my mom keeps saying, you're going to learn how to drive a stick! And yet, she she drives an automatic. Like, I know I gotta learn how to, like, drive a stick for, like, for, like, to pass the exam. Like, I don't know, man. 
It's just, driving makes things more difficult. Look at this. I'm a 15 year old with pink hair. I'm a 15 year old dude with pink hair. Oh, that's cool. I found, a, I found Finn's sword from Adventure Time. No, but look. I'm a 15 year old guy with pink hair. I'm playing a game in about a chili pepper trying to do something with an onion princess. And I'm playing it in reverse while talking about cars. What is... What even is my life right now? This seems like the concept for like a very bad sitcom. You know? I... I've got nothing, you know? Like, two years ago if I had told myself, hey, young ultra gamer, you're gonna you're gonna be doing everything I just listed. He's probably gonna be like, well, what what are you talking about? Everything you just listed. But assuming I told him everything that I listed, um, he's he's gonna be like, okay, who are you and how did you get in my house? I'm calling the police. I I, I think I was trying to make a joke or something. I don't know what happened. I don't know, man. Either way, video games are weird. I mean, I'm glad I gave the creator of this game my three bucks. But, you know. Okay, heck. Hecking heck. Whoop. Why do I... Oh, never mind, I did it, I guess. Hey, I did it. I only caused four time paradoxes. Marty, we created a time paradox, Marty. Oh, Doc, that's heavy. Marty, what? Marty, Marty, we should have, we should have traveled to 2016, Marty. What are you talking about, Doc? Marty, we, our movie was only out by one year, Marty. Doc, what are you talking about? Marty, it's 2016, all right? Everyone knows that Biff was supposed to be Donald Trump, okay? Look, Donald Trump won the election. Um, the Cubs won the World Series. Oh, but Doc, didn't they have the self-lacing shoes in 2015? Yes, but you're not supposed to know that yet, Marty. You're not, you, you're, you're, you're Marty, not Michael J. Fox. You're, you're supposed to, uh, you're not supposed to get those, uh, those self-lacing shoes yet, Marty. Wait, who's Michael J. Fox? Marty, we've created so many time paradoxes, we've destroyed the fourth wall, Marty. Oh, jeez, Doc, what are we gonna do? I don't know, Marty, but we're gonna have to repair the fourth wall before it becomes destroyed beyond repair. Oh, jeez, Doc, what's the, what's the fourth wall? Marty, you stupid, Marty. We gotta... Uh, Marty, I'm sorry, okay? We, I'm dealing with a lot of stuff right now, Marty. We gotta... There's something we can do, Marty. We, we gotta... Gotta fix the fourth wall. Doc, what's this fourth wall you keep talking about? Marty, we can't just keep talking about the fourth wall forever and... Have it be funny. Well, Doc, I don't understand what you're talking about. You're saying we should travel to 2016. How do you know all these things? Marty, you're an actor named Michael J. Fox. I'm a guy named uh, Christopher Lloyd. I got my start on the same show as Danny DeVito. Everything you know is a lie, Marty. You get, you get a relatively good series of five Telltale games in the future. Point is... A lot of stuff has happened, is gonna happen, Marty. Okay, we're not even the real Marty and Doc. We're just, we're just some weird 15 year old kid with pink hair's interpretation of a conversation we would have. Oh, jeez, Doc. Is, is this still funny? Are you guys having a chuckle? Well, alright then, I think I, think I know what to do now. Alright. Let's try this again. Ah. Alright, I don't worry. I got this. I have been surprisingly less ragey this episode than I was the last time. Maybe because we don't have to deal with the stupid penguin guy. And, like, everything that's going wrong is my fault and I understand that. But seriously, screw that penguin guy. He... I hate the penguin guy, alright? 
Or just the penguins in the mech suits. I don't know, man. It's... My voice really hurts. I wish I wasn't out of bottled water. Like, I just... I just constantly keep emptying and refilling my bottled water and putting it in my refrigerator. Alright. Alright, okay, don't worry. I, okay. Starting to get a little annoyed. Gotta, gotta go off on a useless tangent so I distract myself. You know? Okay, I gotta remember to let let fall on the third one. Okay. Okay, don't worry, I got this. Jump. Alright, there we go, and let the guy pass. Oh, there we go. Only made 13 time paradoxes. Next up, the gnome forest. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. We gotta read this backwards. Uh, let's see. Reach Gnome Forest. Get rid of Princess Tomato's pet, Mr. Death Bunny. Capture Princess Tomato. Profit. Mwaha. You've outdone yourself this time, Pepper Knight. Now, and with the ransom money, I'll finally be able to move out of this dump. Next stop, the Gnome Forest. Oh, oh, man. That's... That's so clever. Oh, man. That's, that's a, what, a, what a plot twist. <laughs> oh, man. That was, that was great. Achievement. You unbeat the game. Bonus world and speedrunner mode unlocked? World. Wait, world. Oh, wait. Hold on. Bonus content. Mariachi world. Oh, no. Oh. There, there are only ten levels in this world. All right. Okay, yep. Still, though. <laughs> Such an interesting concept for a game. <laughs> Which, <laughs> in all honesty, that ending, or beginning, I suppose, was kind of funny. Like, like, um, how would I describe that? Like, I, I think I, like, I would describe it as, like, imagine writing a joke, but working from the punchline. Like, like, you come up with a punchline, and then you gotta find some way to set up the punchline. Like... You're writing a joke it backwards, which, <laughs> in all honesty, is a lot harder than it sounds, but, yeah. That was, that was amazing, and I loved it. Oh no, uh, I feel like, uh, I feel like there's some racism going on here. I'm triggered! Oh wait, I'm a straight white cisgendered male, I have no reason to be triggered. Of course, I, the only thing that could possibly trigger me is, is I'm disgusted by how much privilege I have. Getting political. Seriously, just, serious question, can we just please go back to the way things were before the election results were announced? No, no more rioting, because rioting isn't going to change anything, alright? No more rioting, just, we're just gonna, we, I just want us to go back. To the way things were... Oh, no. No, no, no. I just want things to go back to the way they were before. You know? Oh, this is like reverse oil slick. Like quicksand, I suppose. No, but like... Can we just go back to the way things were before the election results were announced? Just none of us taking the election that seriously. Just making some dank memes like... We need another Ken Bone. Like, nothing will ever replace Ken Bone. Okay, I think I, I think I figured out, I think I figured out what I gotta do. No, but really, like... Okay, I, um... Gonna get a little mad again. Alright, just... Like, nothing will ever replace Ken Bone, but, like, we need, like... We, we need something like Ken Bone right now. But, um, in, in some brighter news, um, Humongous, yeah, you guys remember Humongous? Uh, either way, um, bad news, he had cancer, but on the bright side, H3H3 Productions, um, started a GoFundMe page and actually got $140,000 
for his cancer treatment, which is... In all honesty, Ethan and Hila are utterly amazing people. Okay? Just... I don't even know what to say about those two. Like, that's how amazing they are. Just... The fact that even after their You Caring page got shut down, they, they still... They, they just opened up a new one and just... Okay, yep, this is gonna, this is gonna start getting, making me a little mad. But like, really, Ethan and Gila are utterly amazing people and just... I don't even know what to say, you know? There we go. No, but yeah, like, Ethan and Gila are like what I want to strive to be. Someone, someone that people can look up to. Just... Okay, didn't work, but yeah, like, I think, if you guys mind hearing about my philosophy for a minute, I, I feel like the reason we make so many, like, tasteless and, and off-color jokes is because, ooh, ooh, the game lagged, but I still did it. No, but like, I think the reason we make so many off-color and terrible jokes I did it! I did it! I did it, did it, did it! Uh, so, the game crashed. I don't know why. Boy, achievement. What the? Thanks to watch the credits from finish to start. This achievement has not been... What? Find all three hidden treasures. Oh no, I missed a treasure. Get the gold star score in all ten levels in the mariachi world. Alright, what's this one? Uncomplete the game. Leap of faith. Do the Leap of Faith in World 3, Level 12... What? Hold on. Get a Gold Star in the 90 main levels. Yeah. That's that's what I'm gonna be doing. Get squashed flat as a tortilla. <laughs> yep. But really... What do we... Recreate the story in reverse to avoid time paradoxes? Well, yeah. Oh, shoot. There's a level editor? Oh man, this is... Either way, this game was really fun, so... That's, uh... You know what, I think we'll try this. Speedrunner Mo plays the entire game as one long level and rates you the same as usual. Achieving gold store score in this mode is the ultimate challenge, as it means unbeating the entire game without one single time paradox. Oh, wait... Oh, wait, what? Oh, shoot, we're playing the game forwards this time. No, wait, never mind. We're, we're playing it in reverse again. I forgot. Oh, boy. Beat the game without one single time paradox. Seems a, seems a little too, a little too difficult. <laughs> but, uh... I just want to watch the credits, man. Oh, I want to watch the credits. You know what? This uh, this seems a little too difficult, you know? Just beating the entire game without one time paradox. Seems a little, uh... A little... A little no. But, um... I, I real part of me really does want to play this game just forward, but you know what? That's that that's gonna be it for this episode, everyone. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.